how to graph a circle in a graphing calculator. Suppose you are given the following quadratic equations which represent circles. So I'm taking first example x squared plus y squared equals 25. So in our regular calculator like TI 83 plus or 84, you cannot type x squared plus y squared equals 25 which is implicit form. So first we need to convert this one to explicit form and I show you how. So first you write x squared plus y squared equals 25. So our first target is to solve for y. So then we subtract x squared both sides. We get y squared equals 25 minus x squared. So then y must be plus or minus square root of 25 minus x squared. So now in our graphing calculator, we'll type like in y1, we take the upper half of the circle, which is positive 25 minus x squared. And the second one we are taking with a negative sign, 25 minus x squared. Now we will be plotting this one in our graphing calculator. So in the graphing calculator, we go to the graphing mode. First, clear everything we have there. So first, we are taking the upper half. So you go to second, square root, 25 minus x squared. And then I'm going to the next part, y2. So negative, careful with this, you need to take this negative sign, not the minus sign here. So we have to take this negative sign with that one and then go to second square root. Now I have 25 minus x squared and then close your parenthesis. You can go to zoom 6 for the standard window and you see that the upper half is there and now coming the lower half. So now because of our scale it looked like oval, but it is not. It is actually circle. You can adjust your window and make it look like a circle. But I will say that it's okay we, as long as we understand that the equation is for a circle. So we are working on example number two. We have x squared plus y plus one is squared equals 16. So first of all, we subtract x squared both sides. We get this. Now, take the square root on both sides, so we get y plus 1 equals plus or minus square root of 16 minus x squared under the radical sign. So we need to find what is y. So to subtract 1 both sides, so you get negative 1 plus or minus square root of 16 minus x squared. So now we have two forms, y1 will be negative 1 plus square root of 16 minus x squared and y2 will be minus 1 negative 1 minus square root of 16 minus x squared. Now we'll put it in the calculator and see the graph. So when we plot, I could write this one first and then minus 1 or you can go with a negative first, negative sign, this plus square root of you have 16 minus x squared. In the same way, we'll be plotting the lower portion. Now just watch carefully, you see that how I type. First I'm taking this negative sign for one, sorry my, and then after that I'm going to minus sign here. Second, square root, 16 minus x squared. So you have to be careful if you start beginning with a negative sign that should be with this not that one. If you put this one in the beginning here you will get error messes. In this example you clearly understand that your center is at 0 comma negative 1. That you exactly see here 0 comma negative 1 should be the center of the circle. Okay we'll do number 3 and 4. 
So in the process, you watch carefully that x minus 1, whenever I have this square things together, don't expand them, leave it there. Now you can find y plus 1 equals plus or minus the square root of 36 minus x minus 1 is square. In this case, you know that the center will be at 1 comma negative 1 and radius is 6. So carefully check that you have y equals negative 1 plus. I'm taking plus for the first one. So I have square root and I open with the parenthesis 36 minus the next factor is x minus 1 is squared and then close parenthesis. The same way I'm taking the second one with a negative sign and then we can just graph our function. So this is the upper portion and then the lower portion. So this is actually connected but for some reason the calculator is not able to plot all the points. But in many other calculators maybe you'll see it's just a whole circular path. So the last part x plus 2 squared plus y squared equals 4. So we try to isolate y like subtract x plus 2 squared both sides. So you get y squared equals 4 minus x plus 2 squared. Now we do not have any other term with y so we can just take a square root on both sides get y equals plus or minus the square root of 4 minus x plus 2 squared. And then I put it in the calculator and careful with the sign when you start with a minus so put negative from here and rest inside should be the minus sign and then look at the graph so it is going there if you want you can change your window maybe make it negative 5 to 2 maybe and this one also you can reduce at a negative 3 to 5 or let's see what happens all right so you got this so this way you can play further you may change your window if you want you can make it maybe negative 3 to this and then put here maybe 3 and then graph it. So then when you do like this you are missing some part on the left side. So you can go back and increase that one to negative 5. Just play with the window and see better graph. So this way actually you will be plotting circles using our regular calculator graphing but we need to solve for y first. Alright, thank you.